My name is Jackie Terry and you know it's all about being creative in your own way and essentially when I did make the baby old skit um <laughs> it's pretty funny I really had a good time doing it um, I first started off just by writing the script out writing what I was gonna say and you know eventually acting it out in front of the camera and that's the main point. You want to be able to have a plan before you go in and act it out. So I, I've been thinking about this for about a week. And I essentially went to the thrift store and bought me a whole bunch of just miscellaneous clothes. I mean, you name it. And the thrift store is one of the best places you can go if you really want to express yourself. Because they have all different types of clothing at the thrift store and you know anything that hats shades and you know I, I bought up everything and and you guys wouldn't believe it I only spent about twenty dollars and I had about maybe ten different outfits including this outfit I used to make the baby oil skit so my advice is you don't have to spend a lot of money to create a different persona of yourself um, you can easily go to the thrift store and you know buy multiple different costumes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be Halloween. You just throw some stuff together. What matters is the character that you display, the persona. So when I was doing a baby old skit, I decided to you know um, wear this kind of revealing type of. Uh, I wouldn't say um, maybe a construction worker outfit and you know it, it's very revealing as you can see you can see uh, the shoulder definition the chest and you know um, this guy's persona was uh, he's really in love with baby oil and uh, you know he's fascinated with it and all he does is just put it on and you know he's fascinated with working out he's fascinated with his looks and you know he get kind of gets you know a little overzealous at times with his looks and, and he's just very very um very conceited in the type of way you know and the, what this persona is um he's in the restroom i imagine um the whole skit of him being in the restroom just putting on this baby oil and you know I, you know just really kind of looking in the mirror just uh feeling itself like hey you know feeling itself and you know feeling really good about itself so this guy is uh he knows he's got a uh, very um very very conceited guy now the, now essentially the other persona which is the um essentially other character that i play is uh kind of a normal guy and he's in a white t-shirt um a very 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 normal plane and he's just wanting to get in the restroom he just wanna like what are you doing you know he's wondering why it's taking so long and and you guys if you ever had that um family member that's in the restroom for a very very long time you know what I'm talking about and it's just knocking on the door like oh man come on let me in let me in and finally um he comes in the restroom to see this guy putting on this baby oil and he and he's very curious he's like what are you doing what are you doing with this small t-shirt why are you putting on this baby oil and he doesn't really understand the whole concept of the baby oil thing and he tries to egg him on by um essentially um having him put on a white t-shirt as well so the the main concept in this skit is to essentially um no matter what happens um be who you want to be you know if you want to wear a small t-shirt uh go ahead <laughs> if you want to put all the baby oil on in the world um definitely go ahead because what matters is um what you think and whatever it is and that and that will definitely leave you a long way man because if you can um, feel good about yourself, no matter what other people's opinions um, might be, and you can just um, bask in it, you know, like, wait a minute, I, I don't care, you know, I'm going to do this anyway, um, then you'll go far, you know. Even though the guy with the construction worker outfit 
was <laughs> um, very, very, you know, conceited and confident. Um, he wasn't going to back down. He wasn't going to uh, wear that white T-shirt. And that's what it's all about, you know. Um, that's essentially, um, even though the skit is kind of meant to be funny, um, it's still a little bit of, you know, um, meaning behind it. Because in the long run, there's a lot of people that's going to force you to do things you don't want to do or kind of, you know, peer pressure you to a certain extent to do things that, uh, you know, this doesn't look good. Kind of, well, I'm um, in the perspective, kind of mold you into what they want to be. But the thing is, you have to mold yourself into what you want to be because that's really, that's what really counts. What really counts is um, what you want to be, what you want to do, and essentially how you present yourself. Definitely, uh, I have a lot of fun doing this. Um, it's always good to just tap into um, that different character, that different persona, and just kind of act it out. Um, have fun where you're acting it out. I mean, that's one of my favorite things to do is just uh, step in front of that camera and just... Um, just kind of be silly every once in a while, you know, um, try, try to throw a little bit of um, comedy into the videos because that's what, it's, that's what it's all about, you know. Um, one thing is you got to have a sense of humor. can't be serious all the time. I have a couple serious videos, but at the same time, um, you do kind of want to loosen up and actually show that um comedic side to you i think everybody has a comedic side to them and um, if you're able to express it go ahead because um everybody essentially deserves a good laugh 